guys, and welcome back to another Bath & Body Works review. So this one is, it's an older one, admittedly, but it's still good. It's the White Peach Chardonnay Gentle Foaming Hand Soap, which I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say I think this is a scent dupe that they renamed, which Bath & Body Works are kind of famous for doing, let's be real. But um, the scent notes on this one... I like the label of the bottle. Cork and vine. Um, crisp vineyard peach, chardonnay leaves, and vanilla orchid. Well, let's see here. Transport yourself to an afternoon in the vineyard where the grapes are ripe and the flowers are in bloom. And that is the usual stuff about the gentle foaming hand soap. This was from when the hand soaps were six fifty a pop instead of whatever they're up to now. I haven't bought anything this year because of that price increase. But anyway, um, when you're using this one, it's quite the vibrant scent, but it dwindles fast into basically nothing. Now, I will say you definitely get the peach scent out of this. I'll even say that what they're interpreting is Chardonnay leaves. Maybe kind of, although you're reaching. I don't know that I get vanilla orchid out of that at all, anywhere, either in while you're actively using it or the dry down. But I figured out why it's been making me so crazy if I know this scent. I know I know this scent. What is it? They've definitely done this before. It's a dupe of Get Happy, their peach sangria scent. Like, straight. Up. I checked them side by side. They are like identical in how they smell. The scent notes listed? No, they're not identical, but the way they smell sure as heck is. So if you missed out on that one, but you tried the other, don't feel sad. You've totally had that scent before or vice versa. So for me, I do quite enjoy the scent, but at the same time, it definitely makes me more willing to just use this bad boy up and we are. <laughs> it's about halfway gone, and I've been trying to slow my roll until I could get this review film, so now I can use it up without shame. So, I'm just trying to, like, shop my stash before I go shopping there again with their higher prices, unless they drop them back down, which I don't see happening, so I'll wait till I work through my backlog of stuff before buying from them again. But yeah, that, <laughs> it's definitely a scent they've done before, but I do like the packaging on this one. It's a beautiful shade of green, it's just, it's a nice idea and thematic that they went with for it. It's just not that unique to what they've already done. Uh, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I'm not sure which of these two scents came first. I want to say this one did, actually. But I'm not 100% certain on that, because if I remember right, I think this was from that vineyard collection they did, and if it is, uh, that may be from something like 2016, 2017, somewhere in there, which, yeah, now I'm gonna get people in the comments going, oh my god, you're grasping using that! Dude, it's fine. It's soap. Yeah, it's possible for soap to go rancid, but more often than not, they're perfectly fine. So as long as it all looks and smells perfectly fine and works the way it's supposed to, I don't give a shit. So you do you, I'll do me. So just in before the comments where people are calling me gross for using my older stash items. But anyway, I'm like 99% positive this one came first before Get Happy by like a year or so. But that said, I do quite enjoy the scent, and I am glad that it has come back in other forms, even if under other names, because I do enjoy it. Uh, it'd be nice if it were around all the time, even if it were called something else, but both those scents are discontinued now, so it's a moot point, but their peach scents, honestly, across the board, they're all pretty close. They have little subtle differences here and there, usually. like. Pretty as a peach is obviously different than peach sangria, and Georgia peach is different from both of those. They're all distinctly different scents, but at the end of the day, they're pretty close. <laughs> like, they're close enough to where it's like, it may not be exact, but it's, it's in the right vein, so anyway. 
Yeah, this is just a short little one. If this had been like a truly unique scent to me, I probably would have more to say about it. But because it's totally a dupe, I feel like I'm just waxing rhapsodic. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for this one. So as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. So anyway guys, until next time, bye bye.